Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anita Louise. If you guys wanna see how I made this cute little raccoon gift card holder, then stay tuned. You can crochet it right along with me and we're getting started right now. All right, for this project, you will need three different colors of yarn. If you're going for real raccoon colors, you may wanna do gray, black, and white but you can use any three colors you want as long as there's kind of a medium shade, a dark shade, and a light shade. So three colors of yarn. We will also need a size G crochet hook, a little pair of scissors, a button for his nose, a little spool of yarn, a little bit of yarn with a needle to sew our button on, a yarn needle, and I will link the videos for my flower and my bow so that you can embellish your little raccoon if you like to put a little flower on his ear or a little bow tie on him just like that to embellish our little raccoon if you like. So let's put all of this aside since I think we've got everything we need and let's get started. So first we are going to take our gray yarn or whatever medium color you chose and I'm going to do a little slip knot just like this pretzel style, scoop it up. And now we are going to chain 25. One, two, three, four, five, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Now we're going to a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in every a chain across. So not this first one here, but this one right here. We're going to put our single crochet and in each one across so that we have 24 single crochets all together. And when we've reached the end and we have 24 single crochets, we're going to chain one and turn. Single crochet in that first single crochet and in each single crochet across so that we have 24 more single crochets for row two. All right, so starting row three, we're going to chain one and turn. Now we're going to do five single crochets in gray, but the last one is going to have a color change to white. So we're going to single crochet in our first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and now we're on our fifth one. So I'm going to insert my hook, draw up a loop, but I'm not gonna finish this single crochet because I'm actually going to finish it in white. So grabbing my white yarn, I'm going to hook my white yarn and pull it on through. So now we are ready to start making single crochets with our white yarn. And we're going to do 14 single crochets in the white. And while we do that, we're going to be crocheting over the tail end of our white to cover it up. And we're gonna crochet over the gray so that we bring it along with us so we have it on the other side. So let's start with our white single crochets. We've got one, two, three, four, five, Here's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
12, here's 13. Now on the 14th one, this last one, we are going to switch back to our gray color. So we're going to insert our hook, draw up our white. Now we're going to yarn over with gray and pull it on through. Now we're going to complete the row with five gray single crochets. And when we do that, we are not going to crochet over the white. We are going to leave it where it is because we're going to need it when we come back to this white block on the next row. So for the rest of this tutorial, you always bring the gray along with you and you never, ever, ever bring the white or the black with you, you leave it behind. So let's do our last five single crochets all in gray. There's one, here's two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to chain one and turn. Now we are going to repeat that row exactly. And I'm gonna do this one with you so that you can see how we pick up that white yarn again and continue on our row. So we're going to single crochet in gray in the first one, in the second one, in the third, the fourth, now the fifth one, we're going to change to white. So we insert our hook, draw up a loop, and we're going to finish this one off in white. So just pull your white yarn up, yarn over, and pull it through your stitch. Now we are ready to crochet with white, 14 single crochets. And remember, we're going to bring the gray along with us because we're gonna need it on the other side. So 14 single crochets in what we've got. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Now this last one, the 14th, we're gonna switch back to gray. So insert your hook, draw up a loop, and then we're going to yarn over with gray and pull it on through. And then remember, we're going to leave the white behind because we don't need it on the other side, but we will need it when we come back to this white block. So leave the white behind, now we're gonna finish this row off with five gray single crochets. There's one, here's two, three, four, and five. Chain one, turn. We are going to repeat that row three more times so that you have five gray and white rows all together. Once you have done that, you should have something that looks like this with five of the gray and white rows. And I have done 13 single crochets in white, and now I'm going to do my last one, switching to gray. So I'm going to insert, draw up a loop, and then yarn over with my gray. Now at this point, we are completely finished with the white for quite a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip off my white yarn. And for the rest of this row, we can crochet on top of that white end to cover it up. So we've got five single crochets in gray. One, two, three, four, and five. Now I'm going to chain one and turn. And now we are going to repeat this whole little block, but with black to have the black for that goes around the little raccoon's eyes. So we are going to 
do our five single crochets in gray. There's one, two, three, four, but on this fifth one here, we're going to switch to black. So we're going to insert to draw up a loop and then I'm gonna grab my black yarn. I'm going to just hook the black yarn whoop, and pull it on through. Now we're going to be working these rows exactly like we did the white rows and to start out, I'm going to crochet over this black tail to cover it up. And I'm going to crochet over the gray so that I have it on the other side right here. So using black, I'm going to do 14 single crochets. So here's one. Here's two. Three. 13 and now on the 14th we're going to switch to the gray so we're going to insert to draw up a loop with black and then we're going to finish it off with gray yarn over pull it on through now we're going to finish this row with five gray single crochets and we're going to leave the black behind so we've got one two three, four, and five. And then we're going to chain one and turn. And we are going to repeat those that row, just like we did the white, four more times so that we have five rows of the black as well. And once we have finished that, we will have something that looks like this with a white block and a black block. And I've done 13 single crochets so far and I'm going to do my last black single crochet and I'm going to finish it off in gray. So insert, draw up a loop and then I'm going to yarn over with the gray and pull it on through. Now we are totally finished with our black and we won't be using it again until we stitch on his little mouth. So I'm going to snip that and finish this row in gray and I'm going to be crocheting over the black tail to cover it up. So I've got whoop, one, two, three, four, and five single crochets. Now we're going to chain one and turn. We are going to do one little row of white. So we're gonna start out with our five single crochets in gray. One, two, three, for this fifth one, we're gonna switch to white. So insert, draw up a loop. I'm gonna go over and grab my white yarn. Yeah, um, just loop that yarn right over and pull it on through. And then we're going to do 14 single crochets in white. We're going to carry the gray with us and we're going to stitch over our white tail. So we've got one two and this is going to be kind of like the little eyebrow over our little raccoon's face and i hope i haven't called him a fox during this video but i did a fox gift card holder tutorial as well <laughs> and i feel like i've probably said fox and he is not a fox he is a raccoon so i'm really sorry if i said fox but I will link my fox video too, so you can check that out because it is really cute also. Here we go, we've got 12, 13, and on this 14th one, we're gonna switch to this gray that we've been carrying along. So insert, draw up a loop, 
yarn over with gray and pull it on through. And now, once again, we are finished with our white for a while. So snip that off. And we're going to do five more single crochets with gray and we're going to stitch over our white. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to chain one and turn. Now we're going to do three rows in all gray. So I'll do your single crochet in the first one and in all of them across. So we're doing 24 straight single crochets and we're going to do that three times. So we have three rows of solid gray to make the top of our little raccoon's face. Here's 22, 23, and 24. So we have our three rows of gray. Now we are going to be finished with our gray for a while but I'm going to leave this kind of long because we can use it to stitch up the back of our gift card holder and a little bit of the bottom. So I'm gonna pull this loop out and we're just going to set this aside for a little bit because now we get to make a cute little ear for our raccoon. So we're going to grab our gray yarn and we're going to make a magic circle. So we're going to drape the gray yarn over your hand, wrap it around the back, and then crisscross it, wrap it around the back again. So you've got a cross here, a little X, and two lines here. We're going to take our hook and insert it under the first stripe and grab the second one, pull it on down, and then we're going to grab that yarn again, pull it on through, and that locks our magic circle. I'm going to pull my fingers out and we've got a little magic circle. Now we're going to chain one and do a five single crochets down into our magic circle. There's one. There's two, there's three, there's four, and there's a five. Now I'm going to chain one and turn. Now in this first single crochet, I'm going to do just one single crochet. There we go. In the next one, we're going to do two single crochets. There's one and a two. In the next one, we're going to do half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, all in this one stitch. So half double crochet. Double crochet. And half double crochet. There we go. In the next one, we're going to do two single crochets. There's a one and a two. And in the last one, just one single crochet. There we go. And we are finished with our ear. So we're gonna pull this yarn out. I'm gonna keep this one a little bit long too because we can use this to stitch the ear onto our raccoon's little head. So pull that out. And now the other end here is the end of our magic circle. We're going to pull that to close our circle. So pull, pull, pull. Make sure it's pulled all the way. And there we go. And here we have a cute little ear. And when we're stitching it, we're going to use this end to stitch with and we're going to stitch right over this along the way so that we cover this up and can snip, snip it. 
So that is all. So we're going to repeat that one time so that you have two little ears for our little raccoon. And there we go. And now we're going to go back to the big rectangle that we crocheted and we're going to be sewing on some eyes and a nose. So let's grab our needle and thread and our button. Whoop. Here we go. And we're going to find the center of our white stitches in that very top row. So it should be in between the seventh and eighth single crochets. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So right in between here, this is where our nose is gonna go. And we're placing it sort of on the bottom of that first row. So almost the top of the one underneath it. So I'm gonna insert my hook into the side of one of the stitches. And then I'm going to bring it up the side of the other stitch. So I'm going into the bottom of my seventh and eighth stitches and that is where my button's gonna go. And this is about a three quarter inch button. You can use half inch or three quarter inch whatever you think would look cute for a little nose for your raccoon. All right, oh, and I'm just gonna stitch up and down on this little raccoon's nose. Oh, let me make sure I'm going in the bottom of those stitches. There we go. All right, and once our button is all sewn, woo, all sewn on, <laughs> I'm going to bring Flip it over to the back and I'm just going to tie a little knot to secure this thread here. And this knot will be on the inside so no one will see it. Just want it to be real secure so our button stays really well. And there we go. And just snip that thread because we're all finished and our little raccoon has a little nose. Now he needs some eyes. All right, so for our raccoon's eyes, we're going to find the bottom row of our black stitches, and we're going to go up two rows and then over one. So we're going to find one, two, and that is where our first stitch is gonna go. So we're on the inside of that first, very first stitch. So we're over one from the side and up two and we're going to insert the needle through the bottom up here. We're gonna pull our yarn up and then we're gonna go diagonally across one stitch. So we're gonna go right down into that first stitch there. And then we're going to go over one stitch And then we're going to go down across one more stitch, diagonally. So bring your needle up. And we're going to go down this little stitch diagonally. There we go. So we've got a little U here, a little upside down U. Now we're going to repeat it on the other side, but I'm going to use a new piece of thread so that I'm not dragging thread all the way across. So I'm gonna tie this off in the back you can also weave it in through the bottom of your stitches, but I don't mind tying it off because it's going to be on the inside of our gift card holder, so nobody's gonna see it. All right, next we are going to sew the back and the bottom of our gift card holder. So take this extra long piece that we've left there to sew and we're going to thread it through our needle. There we go, flip it on over and just bring the little sides together. And you're just gonna do a little whip stitch. So you just go through one side and through the other side just to stitch that together. 
And this is gonna be the back of our gift card holder. So just go from one side to the other until you're all closed up. And once you're near the bottom, just finish up your couple of bottom ones. Uh-oh, I've got a knot. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. And we can go along one side of the gift card holder as well, along the bottom. So flip it over. And I'm gonna take it along this side too. Same thing, just a little whip stitch through one side of the bottom and then through the other side. Just to stitch it all the way up. And there we go. And once I'm finished, I'm going to run this needle through the bottom of my stitches just to hide the end. I'm gonna bring it through the bottom and then I'm gonna pull it out through the inside of my gift card holder so that I can snip this thread or this yarn off and leave it inside so no one sees it. Now to sew up the other side, I'm going to use the other end of my yarn, which is my starting yarn and I probably could have left that a little bit longer, but <laughs> I'm just gonna use it because it's there. And um, you could also just go all the way across using that yarn that I just snipped off, or um, you could add uh, another piece of yarn if you need to, if it's not long enough. Whatever works for you, as long as the whole bottom gets all stitched up. I just like to use all of my ends so I can weave them in and they're all gone, so. That's all. There we go, that side's all stitched up. And then I'm going to run this along the bottom of my stitches. And then through the inside of my gift card holder. Like this, and then we'll snip it off so that stays on the inside too. There we go. Our gift card holder is all stitched up and we've got a nearly completed raccoon. He just needs his little nose and some ears. Oh, and his little mouth. Oh no, we were supposed to sew the mouth on before that. Oh shucks. All right guys, now we're going to stitch on our raccoon's mouth. <laughs> so we need a little bit of black yarn inside our needle, so just snip off a little piece, not too big, not too long, it's really 12 inches. Thread it through our needle. There we go, and we're going to stitch on a little mouth. Ooh, it's gonna be a little tricky now because I have to go down through the inside of my gift card holder. Oh man, <laughs> but it's perfectly fine. Okay, so um, mouth placement. It's going to go right under our button. It's going to go across one stitch and then diagonally down two stitches. So we're going to find the bottom of your one little stitch that is right under your nose. So right here. And you're going to put your hook or your needle up through the bottom of that stitch. All right, and that's gonna be on the inside of my gift card holder. All right, and then we're going to go directly down that stitch. So straight down. And then we're going to go diagonally across the two stitches that are under that. So one straight line and then two little diagonals. So get your needle back in there Sorry guys, it's so much easier when the gift card holder's open. <laughs> All right, here we go. Down one, little diagonal, and then down the other one, diagonally. And there we go. So it just makes like an upside down Y. There. All right, there's our raccoon's mouth. Oh my. Now, Kind of get your, hmm. We're gonna have to finish off our ends here. So go ahead and if you want, you can turn the gift card holder inside out, make it easier to tie. So I'm gonna snip my yarn here, snip. And then we're just gonna do a little left over right, right over left. There we go. And snip, 
and our raccoon has a mouth. Yay! Much better. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that, Mr. Raccoon. We almost left you without a mouth. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now we get to crochet the flap that is going to become his nose. So we're going to flip this over and we're going to count over from our center stitch. We're going to count over six stitches. So we're going to find our middle one, which here's our middle two stitches. So from this one right here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six right here. And that is where we're going to insert our hook. Yep, make sure we get the whole single crochet. There we go. And we're going to draw up a little loop with our gray. And there we go. Just attach your gray yarn. Now we're going to do uh, 12 single crochets across the back here. So first chain one. And when we do these single crochets, we're going to single crochet over this end so that we can cover it up. So in that very first one that we just attached our yarn in, we do our first single crochet. One, and then in the next 11, so we have 12 all together. So here's two, there's three, there's four, Here's five and six. And now we're jumping over to the other side to do seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and 12. Now we're going to chain one and turn and then we'll be working across those same 12 single crochets. So in these first two single crochets we're going to do a decrease. So we're going to insert to draw up a loop. In the next one insert to draw up a loop. Now yarn over and draw through all three loops on your hook. And we're going to single crochet across and here's a one Here's a two, here's a three, here's four, five, six, seven. All right, one more single crochet and then we're going to do a decrease in the last two. So here is eight. Now we are at our last two. We're going to insert, draw up a loop insert, draw up a loop, yarn over, and draw through all three loops. And there we go. Now we're going to chain one and turn. Now we're going to do four single crochets. Here's a one, here's a two, here's three, and a four. Now we're going to decrease right here in the middle in the next two. So we're going to insert, draw up a loop, insert, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And now we do four more single crochets to fill up the last of our row. Here's one, there's two, three, and four. Now we're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to do a decrease in the first two stitches. So insert, draw up a loop, insert, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through all three, and single crochet in the next five. Here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four, and five. Now we're going to decrease in these last two. So insert, draw up your loop, Insert, draw up your loop, yarn over, bring it through all three, and chain one and turn. Now we're going to decrease in the middle again. So we're going to do two single crochets and then a decrease and then three single crochets. So we've got one, 
two. Now we're going to decrease here in these next two. So insert, drop a loop, insert, drop a loop, yarn over, drop through all three, and now we're going to single crochet in the last three. So here's a one, here's two, and there's three. Chain one, and we're gonna turn it. Now we're doing decreases on our ends again. So insert, draw up your loop, insert, draw up your loop, yarn over, draw through all of them, uh, single crochet in the next two single crochets. Here's a one, here's a two, and now we're going to decrease again. So insert, draw up a loop, insert, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through all three loops, chain one, and we're going to turn. Now we're going to just single crochet across. Here's one, here's two, Here's three, and there's four, just single, cro single crochets across. Now we are going to chain one and turn. Now we're going to do one single crochet, a decrease stitch, insert, draw up a loop, insert, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through all three loops. Now one single crochet in our last one. There we go chain one and turn. We're going to single crochet across. We've got one, two, three, chain one and turn. Now we just do a decrease stitch, insert, draw up a loop, insert, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through all three, and one single crochet just like that. All right, now we are finished with his nose. Now we just need to add a buttonhole. So we're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now turn it and we're going to slip stitch on the other side of his nose in that last little single crochet. Slip stitch just like that. Pull your yarn out a little bit because we can snip it off. All right, and we can weave in this yarn. So we are all finished with it for now. So just thread your needle and find a little bottom of the stitches where you can weave it in wherever so that you're Yarn is all the way hidden. I like to weave it through two rows. So there's one, and then here is the next one. And then we can snip our yarn off once we feel like it's nice and secure. There, all right, let's test it out. So you can bring our flap down Make sure it reaches the button and make sure the button goes over it. Oh, there we go. There's his little raccoon nose. Very good. Now all he's missing is some ears. So let's grab our little raccoon ears. Here we go. And we're going to go ahead and thread our needle with the end of our working yarn. So I'm not using the, the yarn that is from the magic circle. I'm using the yarn that is from the actual working yarn that we were doing our crocheting with. There we go. And we're just going to line up the ear so that at, it is at the edge of our little gift card holder. And the place that we are stitching is the first row of our flap. So it's right at the very, very top of our flap. So if you kind of flatten it out a little bit, you can see right where it goes. It just goes to the top of the holder on the first row of your flap. So I'm just going to grab my little needle and just stitch it on. And while I'm stitching, I'm going to be stitching on top of this to kind of cover it and hide it. So just find, find the very first stitch of your flap over here. That'll be this one right here. And we're gonna stitch across that to hook our little ear onto there. So 
So in one side of the flap and in one side of the ear. And then in one side of the flap and through the ear. And you won't really take that many stitches because it's a pretty tiny ear. I think I do like four stitches across. Here's my third one and I'm catching this yarn into there so that I can cover it up. And here's my fourth stitch. And there we go. And then once we're finished with the four little stitches, I'm just going to bring it through the ear one more time. You can take this yarn here and weave it through the back bottom of the stitches of your first, first row of the flap just to hide it and then you can snip it off. I like to do it on the back behind the ear so that it's hidden. But either way, if you put it under your stitches, it'll be nice and hidden. And snip this one too since we stitched over it once. There we go, he's got one cute little raccoon ear. All right, now we just need to do the same thing with our other ear on the other side. All right, and once you have stitched the other ear on, just weave your yarn through the back and snip your little yarn ends. And your little raccoon is complete. And I will link the videos for flower and bow tie so that if you want to embellish your little raccoon, whoa, mm -hmm, you can add a little bow tie to make him a handsome little boy. Or you can add a little flower to the ear to make her a cute little girl. Just like that. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I hope you had fun making this cute little gift card holder. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know you liked it. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll get a new video every week. Bye.